Hi guys, so uh, this tutorial will be working with making the elevations for our project of the house. So the again the template remaining the same. Tutorial iArch dot twt. Okay, and I will start drawing over here. So to work with the elevations, there are a couple things that I need to do. First thing I will do is uh, import in my first floor xref uh, over here at 0, 0, 0, 0, and use that as a reference to draw all my elevations. So let's go ahead and do that. Type xr. I do attach select the first floor plan hit open ok 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay now I can even change the uh, opacity to a little less so I can type X D W G F A D E C T L enter and some reason that didn't work so let's type it again X D W G F A D E C T L enter and what I am going to give right now is a is 70 and hit OK now now the first elevation that I would be drawing is this one which is viewing in this direction okay so I can rotate my xref by the RO rotate command hit enter and I will rotate it 90 degrees this way okay so I can use this side for drawing my elevation so I'll move it out of the way somewhere over here so I have reference to this now the reason why I picked this view first rather than working with this view is getting the roof pitch which is this I don't have a final height till the top of my roof that's why I use the roof pitch or the roof slope by getting these distances now every roof uh, every elevation will come with the roof slope and it's sh denoted by the rise by the run okay so the rise is 3 foot 6 inches and the run is 12 feet once I draw that I can join this line to get the slope of my roof okay once I get the slope of my roof I know where my roof ends and that would be the height of my roof if I would have started with this drawing there's no way for me to know where the roof is going to end so that's why I start with this elevation so what I'm going to do is move this in the right position so I can see what I'm trying to make here you will look the chimney down here is the same chimney that's up here so let's go to the reference layer I'm already on the reference layer go to the reference layer and start drawing the reference lines so what I would be seeing right now is my first floor and the second floor and the chimney goes behind so this is what I see I'm looking it at in this direction so I will go ahead and project some lines one and two okay now this is where the overhang is where the second floor pops out you look over here the second floor pops out from the first floor so that's the pop out that you see so we've already done that the next thing I will do is go ahead and put in my heights so the height that I know is I start with 
one feet two inches from the ground level which is this to the finished floor level now the finished floor level is basically where I get inside my house from this step that's where the finished carpet or whatever floor that has been used is right there and then after that we offset nine foot eight for the height of the first floor then we have one foot for all our roofing and our flooring uh, till the finished floor of the second floor and then we have nine foot eight till the top of our ceiling of the second floor so let's go ahead and uh, actually it's not the top of the ceiling it's the top of the plate is nine foot eight so while working with elevations you have to understand where is the top of the plate because that is where you will start your roof with okay so first I'm going to do is go to my elevation layer and make my floor line which is my ground line I just make one ground line it doesn't matter where you make it now I'll offset this one foot two going up and offset it nine nine foot eight going up then offset this one foot going up offset this nine foot eight going up okay so this is where my roof is going to start this is the uh, the top of the plate okay so now to start with the roof the first thing that I need to do is get the slope of this roof to get the slope of this roof the only information that I have been provided is this which is the rise and the run of the roof so the rise is 3 foot 6 and the run is 12 foot so I will just draw that here rise is 3 foot 6 and the run is 12 foot 12 foot now when I join the rise and the run the product that I get is the slope of the roof so I will take this and put it right at the point where my roof starts so I can copy this onto this side and then just rotate it R or I can just mirror it M I that's the center line and yes okay so I'll take this and put it on the top of the plate of my second floor now how far is this roof going to go now this roof is going to go till the center of the roof so to draw the center of the roof I will just draw a line throughout the whole room and I have already found the center point of the room then I make a line going up and extend my roof up till here E X enter and extend it so that's the height of my roof and this is the same height as you see right there okay and the only way we could get that is with the help of the slope so I have that next thing I will do is offset for the fascia I offset it 10 inches from there going in this direction another thing that I need to do is the roof is not going to flush with the wall it will always um, fall out a certain distance let's see what distance do we have here so the distance that we have is 2 feet 4 inches so I'll offset 2 feet 4 inches onto this side and extend EX my roof up till here okay so my roof is nearly done at least the location and how far it goes only thing I need to do 
right now is uh, just clean up some lines this line is with respect to my first floor so I will take it down to avoid confusion I will erase these lines then I would draw a line going from here uh, three foot four inches and joining my roof okay let's trim out some lines one and two delete that line and just join that line so that is my roof only thing I need to do right now is mirror it on this side M I select the whole roof my mirror line is going to be there hit none for not deleting the original I can fillet this to get a sharp edge and that's my roof <coughs> so the same roof goes down up till here which is for my second floor even though uh, the second floor oh sorry the first floor ends right here I'm still going to copy the same exact roof down there rather than having a little offset so I copy it from there to till here where is the top of the plate was that one okay so now I got my roofs uh, in the right position and I have a little cupola over here I'm not going to draw that I'll just copy it because it's already here from that center to the center then I have to draw these windows uh, so how would you draw these windows you would just use the rectangle tools and lines to draw those windows uh, again I'm not going to spend time just drawing those windows I'm going to copy it but you could draw one of these windows and uh, then save it as a block copy it from the top of the roof till the top of the roof okay so I have windows just onto the second floor and how would I know I can just uh, attach my second floor plan just to go and see it okay and there is my second floor in the view we were working with is one and two windows that you see over here so these two windows are the same as these two windows okay so what I would do next is uh, make sure I put the chimney in I'm going to unload the second floor and uh, reload the first floor get the location for the chimney the chimney is on the back side and even I don't know what the height of the chimney is so I'm just going to assume some approximate height okay and I could give it the trim the molding whatever I would like for the chimney and trim it out TR trim out the chimney so it looks like it's on the back side okay erase those lines next thing I would do is make sure that these lines which is the finished floor is a dash line so I would go to my layers and change it to a dash line okay it's my finished floor I could even snap it right back I don't need to have it go all the way over my drawing and the last thing I would do on this is just uh, erase some lines do some hatching and get done with this elevation okay once I get done with this I will go and start working with the main elevation that's on to this side so I will continue this exercise in part two and that would probably be our last video uh, 
for our AutoCAD drawings. Alright, thank you.